Morning everyone. In this blog we're going to have a look at uh, some Dynamo programming. Uh, what you can see on my screen is that I've got a, a lot of doors in here and I've created a shared parameter that I've brought in and attached to the doors. So my project parameters you can see I've got this PFS doors uh, side opening uh, parameter and really what that's going to store for me is my indication whether a door is reversed or not and you can see it on a schedule over here that I've got left reversed right reversed and the idea of this blog is to show you how you can use a boolean mask to filter out all the types of doors that are reversed based on this property over there so for those of you that are new to dynamo programming it's uh, very exciting to be able to program in dynamo there's quite a bit of learning to go through but it's not too difficult to do most basic things so i'd like to demonstrate that during this quick uh, video blog that we've got here first of all i want to select all the doors now i'm going to set dynamo over here so it runs manually not automatically so it will only execute once I say run. I need to be able to select some elements. So I have a look at this Revit uh, node within the menu. I scroll down to the selections, to the selection, and I can say that I want to grab all elements of a category. So this lists the categories for me. Inside the categories, I'll find the doors. Remember, all the elements within Revit are distributed amongst categories automatically. You can see them there and there are our doors so this will now be the doors category and then i can say select all elements of that category when i run this it will list all the doors for me there are 22 doors and there i can see their type names as well as their id within the project so that is the same id that you might be familiar with if you select an element and you go to your manage tab and you request its ID then you can find its ID there the reverse is also true if you have nothing selected and you say, say select by ID then it will select that element for you so that is what you are seeing over here within our Dynamo script and now I would like to know what the property name is so if I go to my elements node and again under the element so it's element element in here I can ask something like for instance um, show me what parameters are within the elements if I feed the elements the doors into this node and I run it again then I'll find the names of all the categories that I can get out of here including the pfs.door.side opening parameter there I can see its value left side reversed for door first element over there within the list so in other words for door number or for door ID 306802 in the zero index list there's the first entry it's zero there the value for that door will be left reversed all right so 306802 it's going to have a look at that if i select that item by id 306802 and i show that there's the door if i scroll down to the data properties okay if i scroll down to the data properties there we can find it's left reversed all right so now i want to ask the question show me all of the doors that are left reversed so i first of all need to get the value of pfs door side opening um, on the uh, on every door so to do that we go and we say get parameter value by name and we feed the element in there so it's not the 
parameters that we're feeding in, but the doors, there's the door elements. We used this node over here to get the parameters names that's inside there. And now we can just have a code block. So if I double click on the screen, it opens up a code block for me. I open up with a quotation to indicate that it is text. And I type in the name of the parameter, pfs.capitaldor door and then dot side opening close the quotation and I feed that parameter name in and then I run once again there's my list so this now lists for each door so if you had to compare them they would look something like this there's all the doors and on the right hand side there we've got the value of that door the parameter PFS door side opening all right so we've managed to extract all those parameters from the door and the next thing that we want to do is we want to say I only want to have the doors that are left reversed so now I can start separating them to do this we need a boolean statement to indicate whether something is true or false so I would like to ask the question is the door left reversed and if it is then I want to isolate them so again I use a code block I double click on the screen I put in quotation marks left space reversed it has to be exact that's the name and then I say some variable just X for argument's sake X and then to say is something equal to in this code I say equals equals All right, so it's a bit of a logical statement it says is X equal to left reversed that's the logical text test sorry I feed the value of the parameter in and I run this again and now you will see it kicks out a true or a false list so index 0 is true it is left reversed and hence it returns true index 1 is not it's false index 8 seems to be true where's index 8 left reversed so it's recognizing each value that is left reversed and it's giving me a true or false value over there lastly I would now like to isolate the doors that are all left reversed so for that I need this thing that this blog is about it's called the boolean uh, mask all right so in dynamo you can also just search for this node it's called bool boolean mask boolean filter by boolean mask it is in fact a list operation so if you look at your um, dynamo um, menu over here you'll find that you've got your list commands it would probably be a modify command and let's see if we've got there it is our filter by mool mask okay so true or false yes or no these are all examples of booleans but in this case within Revit it means true or false so the mask is going to be these values here true or false and the elements are going to be the doors again there come the doors all right so what I tend to do is I just like to uh, organize them in a nice logical fashion so I would typically uh, just put them one up below the other one like that and now you will see when I run it that it's got an in and an out list I'm already just gonna right click and say watch Okay, so what watch does is it gives you a little window where you can see especially when you've got multiple output makes it easy to see there's the second watch window so in those are going to be true and false those are going to be out and to test whether what I'm doing is right I'm going to show you that the if I get the same parameter for the doors that I'm taking out so once again I read this and then I would say same boolean operation but this time I'm going to count 
So I'm going to inspect and count all the true values. Count true, or even easier, let's count false. So if there is a false result on that, then we'll know that it didn't work. Right? So just to show you that it did, in fact, just pull out all the doors with the... Um, <coughs> And we'll do the same thing over there, just to show you the difference. Alright, so I'm going to run this. Here it shows me. All those doors. If I just scroll down here, there's, there's few enough of them, so you can see there's no reversed in here, so I can really visually confirm. But if you look at the count, there are 18 elements which are counted false and there you can see 18 elements there's 18 elements so each and every one of those elements is false and if I look at the true in this one there should be no false elements so that should be zero and indeed it is zero so each one of these elements is true and I've now managed to isolate all the doors which are left reversed. And that in a nutshell is how this goes. You typically start by selecting elements, then you read some of the property, you create a question to question the data, you input that into a list filter by boolean mask which then splits it by the true or false value returned by the boolean question by the question that returns the boolean value well i hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video and um, let us know if you need further assistance with your dynamo and with your revit and until next time enjoy your week and enjoy revit